Welcome to the great Exodus is God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today our topic is don't be fooled. The Lord says that his kingdom is a heavenly kingdom. But what are you doing? All of you who are still staying in the world, what are you doing? All of your false prophets who are proclaiming that God is asking you to, to make businesses, that he will bless you in worldly affairs, that he will help you in, in your careers. They have no understanding. And most of them most likely have either not read the Bible or have not understood it. The kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a heavenly kingdom and it has nothing to do with the world. Jesus was in the world, but he was not of the world. So if you come and say, oh, the Lord told me that your business will be blessed, then this is a pure lie. God wants that you come out of the world, that you step out of the worldly temptation. Because the world belongs to a worldly ruler, and the worldly ruler is Satan. And now he is going to hand over this world to a new Pharaoh. The Antichrist is coming, and he will control the whole world, including your fancy businesses, including your fancy careers, and including your riches in your bank that you are not willing to share with the needy. This is the time now when you have to make a stand and to draw a line. You have to separate yourself from the world. If you remain in the world, you will be subjected to the mark of the beast. And either you take it and you lose your eternity, even if you have proclaimed your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ before through grace and faith, or you will die as a murderer. But the Lord says, no, take your cross, walk that narrow path. The narrow path is a path outside of your worldly life that you are living right now. Nobody who remains in the world with one leg will get the crowns in heaven. Nobody who will stay in his careers and think, oh, everything is fine and God is blessing my life. Oh, people, you are so mistaken. Jesus always told you. What has Jesus told to the rich person, the rich young man? Sell everything what you have and give it to the poor. Then take your cross and follow me. Why should he sell everything? Because he has to come out of the world and out of the temptation and out of the destruction. But now you, people, you are fully committed to the world. Your churches are in the world. You tolerate everything from the world. You're fully entangled in the world. You cannot think about coming out. You cannot accept to give up your careers or your businesses for the Lord. You cannot. On the contrary, you follow false prophets who claim that God is blessing your, your worldly actions and your worldly businesses and that he wants that you thrive in this careers and that careers. What the humbo mumbo? This is all wrong. The kingdom of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is a heavenly kingdom and not a worldly kingdom. And if you want to stay in paradise with the Lord and Savior and our Abba Father forever and ever, then you have to walk that narrow path and the narrow path is a heavenly path and not a worldly path. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot stay with one leg in the world and with the other leg serving the Lord and thinking that this is what he wants. He wants you to be set free, free from the bondage to this world, free from the slave master Satan and free from the new Pharaoh that is coming. He wants to set you up, your light up for all to see but separated from the world. Therefore, he is creating the dwelling places of Zion in all the nations. 
where people who have truly come out of the world gather together and come together to serve the Lord in purity and in light, with the Spirit and with truth, and not with man-made doctrines and not staying in the world. Show me only one church that is not worldly. Show me only one prophet that is teaching you to come out of the world. That's not worldly. Some that even call them success coaches, life coaches. What has that to do with the heavenly kingdom? Nothing at all. Now you have to make a stand. We are now at Mount Carmel. And I'm asking you, either you choose to stay with the world and you will receive the new Pharaoh, or you separate yourself from the world and from the false beliefs, from the false churches, from the false doctrines, and come out of the world and walk that heavenly path and that heavenly path only. You cannot mix both together. You cannot serve two masters. Choose. Choose wisely. If you choose the heavenly side, you will see miracles, you will see powerful downloads, you will receive the Holy Spirit, and you will be able to bring in the harvest. The multitude closed and white that will stand at the sixth seal at the base of Mount Zion and that will go into paradise. There will be nobody there that comes direct from his business or that comes direct from his careers and that comes from the world or from that temptation and that will be ruptured. You are grossly mistaken. The kingdom of our Lord is not only a holy kingdom but is also a heavenly kingdom. I hope this topic clears many questions of yours. And if you have more, then send me an email to triplegrace55 at gmail.com. From now on forward, we will always proclaim that you must come out. And we are not only telling you that you must come out of the world, but we are also providing you with a solution where to go and what to do. The dwelling places of Zion are the heavenly places, are the places of the light. Why? Because Jesus said, I am the light within this world, and I am the light in the darkness. And since you, as a true bride, will come very close to Jesus and a true copy of him, you will also be that light that will shine in the darkness when Pharaoh, the new Antichrist, will take over this world. If you remain in the world, you will be subjected to his power and his might and to his mark. But there is another way, the way of heaven. So choose wisely. I hope you liked the topic. Most likely you will not, because I'm telling you the truth. It will hurt many people. It will also stand against most of the prophets, because 99 of them are only talking you nonsense. They're telling you nonsense. They're talking about worldly issues instead of issues from the heavenly realm. They're not giving you the truth. If you're interested to hear more, come back tomorrow. I love you also dearly. Have a blessed day. Maranatha.